Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com where I like to share food from scratch, natural living, and our handmade home. And today I wanna to share something that a lot of you have requested and that is how to make cotton gauze swaddle blankets. Before the birth of my fourth child, so not this one but the one before, I was introduced to the Aiden and Anais brand, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it at all, swaddle blankets, and they are called muslin swaddle blankets. And I read about them online, everybody said they were way better than regular swaddle blankets because regular swaddle blankets, which I noticed with my first couple kids, were super small and you could never get a really good swaddle, plus they were usually made of flannel or something like that, so not very stretchy. And these little swaddle blankets are so much better because First of all, I make them in a size that is perfect for wrapping baby up. And these also have a natural stretch to them. Now they're not actually made with muslin. They are made with a cotton gauze fabric. And I will link that below where you can actually find this kind of material. It makes just the perfect swaddle blanket for newborns and beyond. If you are a new mom and aren't too familiar with swaddling yet, babies just love that secure feeling of feeling like they are in the womb, being nice and tight and secure. I co-sleep my babies, but I still wrap him up super tight. These work perfectly for that. Now to make these is super simple. First, what you do is you're going to want to cut out a 43 by 50 inch piece of cotton gauze fabric. And then all you're going to do, which is super simple, hem over the four sides and then sew it down and they're done. So this is the easiest project ever. So if you're unfamiliar with hemming, I've shown in a lot of my other sewing tutorials, but basically what you do is you take an iron and you press the fabric over about a half inch and then another half inch just to hide the raw edges inside and you press it down with your iron and then you simply sew about with a half inch seam all the way around. So that is it. I will show you in my sewing room just how I do it, but that is all there is to making these. You can whip out a whole bunch of them in many different colors. These have been well used and well loved. I find that I need quite a bit of these because I use these for a lot of different reasons. I keep them in my diaper bag. I will use them to wipe up spit because they're super lightweight, to swaddle, to drape this over the car seat when we're going in and out of places and it's cold, to drape over me when I'm nursing. So I have these constantly going in and out of the wash. I have about six of them in his drawer and I use them all the time. And I'm gonna make up a few more for this tutorial because these are just some of my absolute favorite essentials for a baby. I started this project by cutting out a 43 inch by 50 inch piece of cotton gauze fabric. Make sure to find a gauze that is at least 50 inches wide so that you can meet the 50 inch wide requirement. If you buy the cotton gauze that I linked, you will be able to get two muslin swaddle blankets from two and a half yards of fabric. Next, I fold all four sides over a half inch, then another half inch in order to make a hem, and I press it in place. Next, I sew all the way around with about a half inch seam, just getting really close to where I press down. Now be sure on the corners to back and forward stitch, just like I did here, so that the corners are sewn down nicely. And that is it. That is all there is to making a muslin swaddle blanket. The fabric may feel a little bit scratchy when you first get it, but it'll get good and soft after it goes through the washer and dryer a couple times. Well, 
Well, thank you so much for watching this simple tutorial. I hope that you're able to make some swaddle blankets for your new baby or maybe as a baby shower gift. They are, in my opinion, a baby must have. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I share at least two videos every week on food from scratch, natural living in our handmade home with lots of simple projects just like this one. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Mm -hmm.